Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, very welcome. My name is Yeva and today I want to share with you a upper body focused yoga flow. Hello Lupi, this is Lupi if you haven't met him yet. For this session you will only need yourself and if you have a block, a break or something that resembles this so you could grab a book. In climbing we do a lot of pulling action and over here we will focus more on the pushing action. And without further ado let's get started in a comfortable seated position. So whatever it might be, maybe cross-legged, kneeling, sitting on a blanket, a pillow, whatever is comfortable for you. And let's just close the eyes or soften the gaze for a couple of moments. And bring your attention to your breath. So throughout the practice I invite you to breathe through your nose. Gentle, calm inhalations. So checking in with yourself, checking in with your breath, noticing, okay, I'm here in this moment to move, to breathe. So a sense of gratefulness for yourself for showing up already for taking the first step to be on the mat. Let's take one more breath through the nose, inhale and exhale. Open your eyes if you had them closed and then grab the object vertically into your fingertips. We can hold it with the fingertips and we will draw the halo so the body stays still like a statue. We will only move for, from our shoulders, shoulder joint, and we will draw this halo on top of our head, going to one direction first. So when you make these circles, try not to forget your, the back as well. So this could be done also with a slightly heavier, heavier weight. We could increase that over time. So maybe first you do it with a block and maybe eventually at the climbing gym or somewhere else at home if you have, you could use a dumbbell, a few kilos and over time to increase the load. So our tissues could adapt. And then let's swap the direction. So same idea, drawing the circles above our head. And really explore the sensations of what's happening in your shoulder area. Maybe there is some, or there are some sticky spots. So I hope you start to feel it already in your shoulders. If not, continue to do so and maybe at the same time you can squeeze the block. So almost you want to push the block or push your hands one into the other. Let's take one more breath in and then exhale, lower the block, the book, whatever down and then shake your arms. Let's extend the arms up towards the sky, squeeze the hands into the fists and then open them up. Fingers into the fists and open and continue. You can go as fast as you can and really try to do it very controlled. So open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. So we want to give some love for our wrists to prepare them when we will be bearing weight. 
Inhale. Exhale. One more cycle over here. Inhale, open squeeze, open squeeze. And exhale, shake your hands. Let's meet in a tabletop position. Let's do a few scapular push-ups. So by that, I mean we will put the shoulder blades closer to one the other and then shoulder blades away from each other. Your whole body is still. Try not to arch your back too much. Your arms are straight. We focus on our shoulder blades. You can continue like that in a tabletop, but if you feel that your body is ready already, you could come into the plank while you do the scapular push-ups. So you choose whichever you prefer. Few more. And then let's sit back onto our heels and let's do the magnetic wrists. So there is always one part of your hand or the palm touching. And first we go one direction. So maybe fingers towards the body and then away. And then swap the direction. Same magnetic wrists. And then shake your hands. Now, when you're in a kneeling position, put your hands in line with your knees, more or less. Spread the fingers wide so we have a good support. Index knuckle is pushing down. And then we will lift the knees up. So a few options, you can tuck the toes under or you can keep them untucked and shoulder blades push away from each other and we lift the knees up. So breathing over here. One more, inhale, push the ground away and then exhale, lower the knees down and then again a couple of circles of the magnetic wrists. And let's do one more time, hands down, as wide as your shoulders or maybe slightly wider, you decide. Then we lift the knees up and now push the ground away and maybe you lift one foot up and then maybe the other foot up. Or you stay with the feet on the ground, inhale, exhale, lower the knees down and then the last time over here, magnetic wrists. Shake the hands and then tuck your toes under. Let's meet in a squat position. Arms can stay inside if that's comfortable. And then when you inhale, lift one arm up, you can look up. When you exhale, lower the arm down and then the other arm goes up. Again, on your exhalation, you lower the arm down. And then the other arm goes up, reaches up towards the sky. Lower. And last time on this side. And exhale, lower. From here, let's try to do a crow pose. So go into the crow or follow me. So try not to open the uh, elbows to the sides. You can try to keep them in line with your shoulders, more or less. So spreading the fingers wide, let's lift the hips up. Put your knees onto your upper arms, almost that you would like to put them into your armpits. You can stay here or maybe you lift one foot up, maybe the other foot up, and then we balance for a couple of moments. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, back into the squat. Then let's bring the hands slightly further away from us. And then let's hop forward and then let's do the crow again so lifting the hips up putting the knees on top of the arms upper arms and then lifting maybe the feet up breath in exhale lower the feet down 
and then again little hop forward first reach the hands forward and then little hop to the front and let's do one more crow or going towards the crow so lifting the hips up spreading fingers wide putting the knees into the upper arms maybe lifting the feet up if your feet are, are up you can point your feet and then try to bring the heels towards your bum breathing and then exhale come back into the squat and now let's extend the legs and then bend them two more extend them bend last one extend and bend let's meet in a chair pose so first you can shorten your stance if that's comfortable and then let's meet in a chair pose arms can reach can be reaching up or on your thighs wherever it's comfortable so we imagine that we sit back onto the imaginary chair take a breath in and then let's meet in the forward fold we straighten the legs forward fold let's do spine twist so hands of your choice maybe fingertips down maybe your left forearm on your left thigh and then we lift your right arm up we can do a couple circles with your right arm so with the top arm And then swap sides the other forearm on the thigh or maybe fingertips down and then lift the left arm up towards the sky you stay still or if you'd like then let's do the circles with the top arm And then let's meet back into the forward fold bend the knees slightly and with inhalation sweep the arms up towards the sky exhale arms by the side of the body if you are not in the front of your mat already step into the front and then with inhalation sweep the arms up towards the sky exhale forward fold inhale straight back arms of your choice maybe by the side of the body if you'd like more intense extend the arms in front or maybe hands on your thighs take a breath in exhale hands down your right foot goes back into a low lunge lower the right knee down inhale lift the arms up exhale bend the elbows elbows towards the ribs two more inhale lift the arms exhale bend the arms one more let's meet into the pyramid pose lower the hands down tuck the back toes under lift the right knee and then try to straighten the front leg um, it's okay if it's still slightly bent no problem your pelvis is looking forward so both hips are looking forward take a breath in and on the exhalation let's meet in a high lunge so bend the front leg and inhale lift your arms up now interlace the arms behind you palms together shoulder blades together chest is open maybe you lift the hands slightly away from your hips from your glutes take a breath in and out let go of your hands now extend your arms up above your head put the weight onto your left foot and then we meet in the standing position lifting the back foot lifting the right knee up flexing the foot and spine twist to the right put the left hand on top of the right knee maybe you twist slightly more And then lower your right ankle on top of your left thigh and then we start to bend 
the front leg. So you stay where you are, but it looks more or less like a figure four. So your right leg is bent and the right leg is active. Staying over here and balancing. Maybe an option is, if you want to playfully challenge yourself, almost you want to reach towards the ground and maybe to touch with your fingertips the ground or go the direction towards it. Come back up, lift your right knee up and then right foot back. We meet in the plank position. So in the plank pose, spread the fingers wide, knuckles pushing down. Breathing over here. And then let's lower ourselves down, maybe knees down or knees up. And then with inhalation, bigger back bend, smaller back bend, active, passive, you decide. And then we meet in a downward looking dog. So tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up, downward looking dog. Now from downward looking dog, dolphin pose. So lower your forearms down. So here you can bend your knees as much as you want, but imagine you want to stretch your armpits. So almost to have a straight line from your elbows towards your chest, your belly. Push the ground away from you and breathe through the nose. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Now let's come back into the downward looking dog. And then with your right hand, you want to reach your left ankle or go the direction towards it while you continue to push your left hand on the ground. And then lower the right hand down. Now lift the right leg up towards the sky, right foot into the front of the mat, left foot follows, bend the knees, and with the inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky, and exhale, arms by the side of the body. Roll your shoulders up, back and down a few times. And then whenever you're ready with the inhalation, arms up, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back. Chest is open. Arms of your choice. So really continuing to breathe through the nose. So especially when it gets hard. So allow the breath, allow yourself to exhale. One more inhalation over here. And exhale, hands down, the left foot goes back into a low lunge. Lift the arms up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Two more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale, lengthen the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bend, lower the hands down, pyramid pose, tuck the toes under, lift the knee. Maybe we straighten the front leg. One more breath over here. And then we meet in a high lunge, bend the front leg, lift the arms up. Now interlace the arms in a more awkward way, so the other index finger is in the front, palms together, shoulder blades together, and then maybe we lift the hands slightly away from your glutes. Breathing. One more breath over here. And then lift the arms up, put the weight on your front foot, and then lifting yourself into a standing position, lift the left knee, 
up, flex the foot and spine twist to the left. So doing very well. You can give yourself a little smile that you're here, that you showed up, that you're moving. And then lower the right hand on the left knee. Maybe you twist a little bit more. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in. And then we lower the left ankle on top of the right thigh. And then we squat slightly down. So we bend the bottom leg, flex the left foot. So the left leg is really active. Maybe also try to open the left knee down. And I like to continue to push the ankle into the thigh. So this creates for me even more engagement in my upper leg. Maybe arms are reaching up or arms anywhere where it's comfortable for you. And then playfully challenge yourself, lower the fingertips towards the ground. Maybe touching or going the direction towards it. And then coming back, lifting the left knee. Then the left foot goes back. Let's meet in a plank pose. So we can have the knees down or knees up, but let's do a few push-ups. So maybe a few, push, uh, few free push-ups. So let's bend ourselves down and lift back up. Two more, lower, lift back up. Last one, lower, lift back up. And now lower everything down, lower the belly down, untuck the toes, and then extend the arms along the sides of the body. Palms are facing down, lift the feet up, shoulder blades together, chest is lifting as well. So we're here. Let's explore the sensation in the back body, squeezing everything, activating that side. Breath in. Breath out. And now lower the feet down and put your hands, so forearms down. We will go straight into the dolphin's pose. So over here, um, lower the forearms down, palms down. You can tuck the toes under. Maybe you first come onto your knees and then you lift your glutes up towards the sky. Push the ground away from you with your forearms. Here an option is to bring the left foot more into the middle and then lift your right leg up for a moment. Then lower the right foot more or less into the middle. Lift the left leg up. Lower the foot down. Let's meet in a downward looking dog. Maybe bending one knee, bending the other. And then keep the right hand on the ground, push the ground away. And with your left hand, we want to go the direction towards the right foot. So opposite leg. Just touching or going the direction towards. Breathe in. And then on the breath out, lower the left hand back down. And then we lift the left leg up towards the sky. Left foot into the front of the mat. Right foot follows, bend the knees with inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, arms by the side of the body. Perhaps closing the eyes or softening the gaze and checking in with the body, with yourself. How are you feeling in this moment? And there is no right or wrong, whether we feel joyful, frustrated, or whatever, any other emotion, we just notice it like a silent observer. We notice that emotion, we notice how we are feeling, and then we come back 
to the breath. We bring our attention, the focus back to the breath, back to this moment, back to the body. Let's roll the shoulders once again, back up. And shake the arms, shake the legs. I would like to try with you a one more arm balance. So it will be a little flying pigeon pose. So what we did with a figure four position, if that felt comfortable for your knee, then we can go slightly deeper and we can try to lift our legs away from the ground. One option would be if the ground feels quite far away when we are in this position, we could take two blocks vertically. So putting them like this and then having our hands on top of the blocks. So you could try that as well. You could also put the pillows in front of you. So the pillows give the sense of safety in case we fall with our head, with our face on the ground, then it's more comfortable. And yeah, I invite you to try that. So let's first try with the left foot standing uh, on the ground and then right ankle on top of the left thigh. The idea is to really flex your right foot and then we bend the bottom leg. We put the hands somewhere down. Maybe we need to shuffle the back foot slightly more back. And then here, the most important is to almost wrap with your toes, your upper arm. Okay. And then over here, we try to put um, the knee. So the right knee rests on the upper arm as well. And then we imagine we tilt forward and by tilting, then eventually the back foot lifts up. So here I like to imagine the idea of a seesaw. So the more we tilt forward, the more we want to smell something in front of us. Eventually this will help to lift our hips and our foot away from the ground. So yeah, it's more about technique, not about having very, very strong arms or very strong core. So if you had tried one side already, let's try to do the other one as well. So maybe I will face I don't know, this way. So the right leg on the ground, left ankle on top of the right thigh, flex your top foot, lowering the hands down. And then again here, the knee wants to rest on top of the upper arm, the left foot wraps your right upper arm and then we tilt forward and then eventually maybe the foot lifts up as well. Okay, so you can always pause this video and then try it a couple of more times. If you have any specific questions about this position, please let me know down in the comments below and I would love to read from you. And otherwise, let's meet uh, with our hips down, extend your legs and then shake your legs. Let's do a reverse tabletop. So lower the hands down. Your fingers can be pointing towards your feet, hips or feet in line with your hips. And then we lift our hips up. You can look up or you can look in front of you wherever it's comfortable. So personally, I don't like to drop my head. It doesn't feel nice for my neck, but you do whatever feels comfortable for you. We continue to lift the hips up, take a breath in, breath out. One more inhale. And on the exhalation, lower the hips down. And now let's make our way onto the left side of the body. You could grab a pillow or something soft to put underneath your head if you want to make yourself more cozy. And here we will do the shoulder rotations. So we will focus on the top arm and imagine that you want to draw a big zero and you always want your fingers to touch the ground. So your fingers always touching the ground and we make this big circle. Now continue to do so, try not to hurry. Drawing these big circles. So I really, really, really enjoy how this movement feels to my shoulders. You're also welcome to twist the spine 
So this will help us to also draw these circles. You can also put your legs in any way it's comfortable for you. So some people enjoy when they have uh, one of their knees lifted. Some people enjoy it on the side. So you explore that. And let's do two more. And then let's walk to the other side. So now laying on your right side and drawing these big circles with the left arm. So always touching with your fingertips when you go on top of the head and towards the back. Exploring the tw spine twist at the same time. And let's do two more. And once you're finished with those, let's lay on our backs. You decide what you want to do with your feet, but maybe knees together, um, legs bent, feet wide apart. This might feel nice for the lower back or the soles of your feet together, open the knees wide apart. Or maybe the traditional Shavasana relaxation position, extend your legs. So wherever you are, I really, really encourage you to spend a few moments in stillness, to really absorb all the effects this practice brought to us, to the body, so you can rest your hands on top of your belly to observe the breathing. And then I will be quiet for a couple of moments, but then I will bring you back. So I will be here with you in silence for a couple of minutes. So please stay, stay with me. Give us few moments, these nourishing moments for yourself in stillness.
take one more breath over here the belly is rising with inhalation and the belly softens start to wiggle your toes and your fingers make circles with your wrists and your ankles you can stretch the arms behind your head as if you're just walking up point your feet and then hug your knees towards your chest and roll to the left side of the body or to the right side of the body. Take a few moments over there. So really trying not to hurry once we were laying very still, but really taking our time to sit back, come back into the seated position very, very slowly. Help yourself with the hand, lift yourself into a seated position Lengthen your spine, chest is open. And then to finish the practice, let's do the rain massage. So with your fingertips, gently start to tap your head. Trying to cover every part of your head. Inhale. Exhale. And one more all together, inhale and exhale lower the hands down open the eyes okay beautiful so thank you thank you so much for being here with me today also thank yourself for showing up and giving this time for yourself to practice to move and to breathe let me know down in the comments below how the session went i always really enjoy reading from you then for me it means that okay there are people practicing with me even though i can't see you so I really appreciate that. And also I would like to invite you to a yoga retreat, which is happening this September in Spain, on top of a mountain and in front of a lake. I have quite a few exciting activities planned and I will put the link to this adventure down below in the description. So check it out. It would be super awesome to have some of you from my YouTube community on real retreats in real life as well. The next session that I will be filming is Animal Flow inspired yoga class. So make sure to check that out. You can consider subscribing and pressing a bell notification so you are notified when the video comes out. And as always, press a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share this video, this session with someone else if you think that they would benefit from it as well. So sending greetings and I will see you next time for another session.